don't know or remember me, my name is Zach DC, and I'm here to talk about why visitation must change and eventually be abolished here at Eastern. Um, today I'm going to give a brief history of the visitation at Eastern, um, why it still exists, uh, talk about other colleges' visitation, if there's any, and how and why we should get rid of visitation. Um, now, I got the pleasure of interviewing uh, Dr. <coughs> Betty Ann Brigham, and after I interviewed her, I learned a lot about visitation. Uh, a brief background on visitation here at Eastern is that the current hours of visitation, um, they came about in the 1993 to 1994 school year. <coughs> Sorry. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, we don't have visitation on Wednesdays because of grow groups. And a very odd but also interesting fact that Dr. Brigham talked about while I interviewed her was um, that Wednesdays uh, were known as Wang Wednesdays because, like, you know, everyone's not, like, the opposite sex isn't allowed in your hall and whatnot. So it's just an odd fact that when she was here, which was uh, 1970. Um, visitation still exists because Dr. Brigham, um, she loves the rules and believes it will always exist, uh, or at least while she's still working here. Now, uh, however, she al uh, also talked about how she's always open to change. Um, so, uh, but based on her experience, she said students love visitation. Uh, that trans, like people that transfer in, the students that transfer in, uh, that's a big part of why they decide to transfer to Eastern. So, um, she also talked about. Um, how visitation keeps our schools safer and eliminates uh, security issues that big state schools have uh, with like strangers and all that stuff. And the open door policy exists at Eastern because uh, Dr. Brigham and other administration at Eastern, uh, they don't want to give us what they call a private time. So that's just something to know. Now um, I'll be comparing the visitation of our school as well as uh, other random schools. Um, for those of you who don't know, our visitation is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. It's 10.30 to 4.30. Um, and Wednesday we don't have visitation. Friday and Saturday it's 1 to 1, and sa uh, Sunday it's uh, 1 to 10.30. Now, Messiah College is a Christian school. Uh, their visitation is Sunday, noon to 10 p.m. Monday and Wednesday, it's 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday, it's 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Saturday, it's noon to 1 a.m. And then they have no visitation Tuesday and Thursday, so it's pr pretty similar to ours. Cabrini College, um, which is a school right next door to us, they're technically a Roman Catholic institution, um, but they their visitation is like different than ours, um, and they don't follow, uh, or they're not as big as a Christian school as we are in uh, morals and actually like uh, having... Um, chapel and stuff. Uh, first year students there though have visitation Sunday through Thursday 10 a.m. to midnight. Um, Friday and Saturday 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. and then after your first year you don't have visitation. At Gordon College which is another Christian school up in Massachusetts they have visitation Sunday through Thursday 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Friday and Saturday 11 a.m. to midnight. Um, Kent State University which is a big state school they don't have visitation at all. Uh, Providence College, a private school up in Rhode Island, they have no visitation for students, but they have visitation for guests, so the guest would be someone who's not enrolled at Providence, and their visitation is Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to midnight, and Friday and Saturday, visitation is 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, the last school uh, that I'm going to talk about is Pepperdine University, that's another Christian school in California, and their visitation is 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. every day. Now, visitation needs to be changed and abolished sooner rather than later at our school. Uh, for example, one reason is Eastern treats us like we're little kids with all these rules uh, when we are adults, uh, legally too. And we should be able to make our own decisions for ourselves uh, since the law says so. Um, visitation, getting rid of visitation also teaches us to develop self-control. So if we're given this right to not have it, um, it, we're allowed to decide what we want to do for ourselves, whether it's both good and bad, but then we can learn from our mistakes if it's somewhat bad. Um, Joshua Joseph, a senior at George Washington University, felt that such policies uh, that schools have, uh, 
schools like Eastern have are insulting, and it says that the institution doesn't trust us. Um, having uh, visitation, this also means that opposite sex parents and siblings cannot come into your hall or your dorm on Wednesdays or during the uh, or after hours or before hours of visitation, which is annoying. So like, except on moving days, I think. But like for example, uh, my family came last weekend to watch me play baseball, and um, my uh, mom and then they all came before one o'clock, and they wanted to come up to my room and whatnot. And just uh, they wanted to hang out in there because they didn't want to just walk around campus. They just wanted to somewhere to sit because it was a long drive down. But my mom couldn't go in because of visitation. Um, but changing or abolishing this rule, it also prepares us for the real world, where there's no rules besides the law. So in the real world, we're not going to have uh, a figure or all these rules to baby us, and they're not going to be able to tell us what we can and cannot do. Um, and we're going to have to put our big boy pants on and uh, make des decisions on our own that we think are right for us. Uh, in order to change visitation, it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. Now, I talked to Dr. Brigham about this, and she told me uh, what it takes in order to make a change. Um, now, she told me that if we want uh, to extend visitation or eventually get rid of it, we as a student body are going to have to be a voice that's heard by administration. We must uh, be together on this as a whole and also get faculty uh, in on this with us that share the same views as us. Um, Next, we make a formal request to Dr. Brigham uh, that we want a change. Not by going into our office, barging in, and make, uh, you know, demanding like we don't want visitation and whatnot. Uh, because she is a reasonable person, but um, and she'll definitely listen to us. But we can't just go in and barge into our office because she's not going to make any rash decisions on a whim or get pushed around by students. So we. Uh, so we just go in nicely and make a formal request. Then we do some convenience sampling. Uh, so for example, we like could make a survey, uh, say on the survey, if there's, uh, do you like visitation, yes or no? If no, do you want to extend the hours or get rid of it? Um, and then if yes, do you like the hours currently or do you want to uh, shorten the hours, which I hope no one does that. Um, next, we have to call and research other schools, mainly Christian schools, since we're a Christian institution, and ask about their visitation rules. And then after we're done collecting all this data, we submit a formal proposal on the change and why. And after that, we sit and wait while Dr. Brigham and other administration look over our proposal. Now, Dr. Brigham, as I said before, she's very open to change as long as the student body is, uh, is okay with it. Now. Uh, however, Dr. Brigham does not see visitation getting abolished as long as she's still here, but will definitely extend visitation as long as we are together on this as a whole. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I, don't, I would like to be treated as an adult since I'm of age legally and since I'm on my own in college. So what do you guys think? Let's do something about this and let's make a change.